Hi, my name is Valeria. This channel is about how to apply the scripture in your life. In this video, you will get an answer to the following questions. What to do when you receive a prophetic word, in dreams, visions or from someone else? Who is responsible for judging a prophetic word? Who is to interpret the meaning of a prophetic word that came from a prophetic dream? What are the six essential questions about the prophetic word that need to be answered right, to judge a prophetic word? As always let me start with the gospel first, before I continue with the video. How to get saved from hell? God did his part. He has offered you a free gift of salvation, the forgiveness of sin, and eternal life with him in heaven, instead of going to hell for your sins. But uh, you must receive that gift. A. Admit that you are a sinner. Sin separates us from God and deserves God's punishment of death. B. Believe in Jesus, that Jesus died on the cross in your place, taking the punishment that you deserve, a punishment you cannot pay. Jesus rose again. Because Jesus gave up his life for you, you can be welcomed into God's family for eternity. This is the best gift ever. C. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Confess your faith. This is trusting with all of your heart that Jesus Christ is who he said he was. Make a decision that you want him as your savior and tell him in prayer. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes to righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made to salvation. Romans 10 to 9 10. If you have purchased one of my books on Amazon, thank you so much for your support. Your purchase enables me to create more videos like In this verse, we see five things that we must do. One dot do not quench the spirit. It means to stifle his work in our midst, to limit and hinder him. Two, do not utterly reject prophecies. If we link this verse with the previous one, we quench the spirit when we despise prophecies. Be open to God's will through other Christians exercising the gift of prophecy. To prophesy means to declare the mind of God as it has been revealed in the Bible. 3. Examine everything. The standard by which we test all preaching and teaching is the Word of God. 4. Hold firmly to that which is good. This most likely refers to prophecies that pass the test, accept what is true, and reject what is false. 5. Abstain from every form of evil. Do not give the evil a foothold. Deny false tongues, prophecies, or teaching. Reject evil. Who is responsible for judging a prophetic word? The Bible tells us that prophecy in the New Testament is to be subjected to scriptural judgment. In fact, it is non-biblical to accept prophecies in New Testament that is not submitted to judgment. Have two or three prophets speak, and have the others pass judgment. 1 Corinthians 14 29 The Christians who listened were to decide whether this was truly a divine utterance or whether the man might be a false prophet. In the meeting, two or three people with prophetic gifting have to be present. People with prophetic gifting do not operate as individuals on their own. Who is to interpret the meaning of a prophetic word that came in a prophetic dream or vision or from someone else? The interpretation of any prophetic revelation belongs to God, not to man, as we read it in Genesis 40 to 7 9. The interpretation has to come from God. God can give it to the one who received the prophetic word or dream, or God can give it to another Christian. The six essential questions that need to be answered to judge a prophetic word. Does it edify, exhort and comfort believers? It should not be negative, destructive, or condemnatory. Does it agree with scripture? Anything given in prophecy will never be opposed to the scripture. Does it glorify Jesus? One principal work of the Holy Spirit is to glorify Jesus. By this, we can test all teaching and preaching. What attitude does the message reflect toward the Lord Jesus? Did it come true? If a prediction failed to come to pass, that prophet should be put to death, and no one need fear any curse he might pronounce as we read it in the Old Testament. If a prophet's words do come to pass, that does not automatically mean that person is God's prophet. To fully understand this, please read Deuteronomy 13 to 15. After reading it, answer the question. What does it mean when a prophecy comes true, but it leads you to other gods or promotes disobedience against God? 
Does it bring bondage, confusion or fear? There are three conditions which are not the products of the Holy Spirit. Does a prophetic word bear witness with the Spirit of the one who receives it? Do I sense a witness from the Holy Spirit? If you have purchased one of my books on Amazon, thank you so much for your support. Your purchase enables me to create more videos like this.